Hey, what's up, everybody? Simon here, back with um, another haul, a pretty decent size haul. So I'll just get right into it. Um, the Detective 49 was uh, pretty hard to find around here. Like, I don't know, it took me four shops or something before I finally found a couple copies. I probably would have picked both of them up, but the uh, other one had some kind of, like, uh, crease down the side or something. And, and even this one has, like, some rubbing or something along the... Uh, the side there, like on the moon part or whatever, but so glad to find a nice copy and decent copy anyway. And I'd probably go crazy with these uh, Neil Adams books this month, but I don't know. Like, I think I'm, I think I'm done buying new books for a while. Um, I don't know. Like, I bought this Forty Nine in the Deadpool, and these are four. All four dollar books and the Spider Man for uh, it cost me 18 bucks. So I don't know, that's pretty ridiculous. Like the shops here, I live in I'm in Canada and the shops are charging 30% more, uh, most of them anyway, are charging 30%, you know, because of the exchange, the US exchange. U.S. dollars, uh, well, the Canadian dollar is, like, really weak right now, so, it's, uh, so that's what they're charging, so it's getting, like, ridiculous, I don't know, like, 18 bucks for three books, and, like, they're four dollar books, I don't know, I don't know, that's just crazy, so, I mean, that's probably the last in a, last time in a while I'm gonna, uh, pick up some new books, but I pick those up, well, and, uh, I went back to the uh, convenience store that I found. I don't know if anybody seen my last video, but I found a new Mutants 98 there for four bucks, and uh, of course I'm going back, right? So I went back uh, a couple times actually. Um, I actually talked to the guy. The guy was actually working there for once, uh, whose collection it was, and I talked to him for a while, and it turns out he's got like a ton of books, like six thousand or something, and. He said, basically, just said, you know, it depends on what you're looking for. Maybe you'll have it or something. So I'm just thinking, like, if he had a new Mutants 98 there for four bucks, uh, <laughs> like, I don't know, who knows what else he has in there. I noticed he has a lot of 90 bucks around there or something, and hopefully, maybe he's got some, like, Harley Quinn or something. Um, some Harley Quinn stuff, or who knows, like, I was thinking, I just asked him, like, maybe do you have this run, like, say, New Mutants number 80 or something to 100, like, do you have a, that, and maybe can I check them out or something? I don't know, I'll have to think about it before I, uh, ask for some books. But I found these anyway, and the second time I went, the second time after the New Mutants, uh, find, and, uh, I, this is my second copy of the, um, Superheroes Winter Special. Like I picked up, this is I picked actually paid a dollar more for this one, and the other one I have is like really really nice condition, like an airman one. And this one is not perfect. I mean, it's got like some rubbing or something there, and looks like the bottom has a tear in it. But I don't know, maybe yeah, five bucks I think is a pretty good price. Like it's a good enough reader copy. I mean, I'll take that. Pretty cool jock cover there on uh, the 648 Batman. It's pretty cool Joker there. Whoop. There it is. And uh, so I picked those up. And I also picked up a bunch of uh, bunch of books here. Of course, he's got a ton of uh, Wonder Woman, Adam Hughes stuff there. So it's my second copy of that. And I think it was two bucks or something. It's a dollar book from there. It's got some pretty awesome uh, covers on the inside of that. I guess it's a J. Scott Campbell cover there, the Vampirilla crossover gallery. And I seen this. I think yeah, it was either two or three bucks. And I knew I was probably gonna pick it out for two bucks or whatever, right? But I thought I'd look it up anyway on my phone. And it turns out it's like uh, the Marvel Girls variant or something. So, 
I'm glad to find that for pretty cheap. Oh yeah, well the only thing is to does have like a big uh some denting or something going on here. Well, that's not gonna work. Anyway. So but that's about all it's wrong with it. I mean it's pretty nice book, nice variant. I think it's like the one moment in time run or something in that. But it's glad that I find that for cheap. And he's got a few Walking Dead. He's got like Walking Dead specials. And I seen he has a one hundred as a wall book there for twenty five bucks. I don't know if it's the second printing or something of it, but it's the one with Negan uh, on the cover with his bat. And here's another one he had just at the front table. He keeps all his really cheap, like, 50-cent books at the front. And sometimes he'll just, like, bag one and put a price on it. So I found that for two bucks on his on his uh, front desk there at the cash register. Nothing special here and paid pretty well full price. It's just a variant. Like, I have uh, a few of the other ones I picked up for cheap, so. Well, I guess that that's a... Uh, Chicago Comic Expo variant, I guess. Here's some 50 cent books he had there. McFarlane and Liefeld cover. Other 50 cent. This, I don't think, was a 50 cent. I think it might have been a couple bucks or something. I guess that, is that the cameo of Bishop? But that's what I picked up from the convenience store. So, I was going to go back there today, but... I figured the guy probably isn't there, and he probably didn't put any new books out, so. Just trying to decide how I'll, I want to contact him and see what else he's got. I'm sure he has some something great there. He has to. And so, oh, actually, oh man, I forgot to say that when I was at the uh, convenience store, I noticed that one of his 50 cent bins were gone, so. I uh, ended up buying, or he said somebody was coming to buy it for 20 bucks or whatever and he didn't show up so I took the this big box of 50 cent books for for 20 bucks it was like 140 books in there and uh yeah and so I was pretty happy to <laughs> kind of I guess you know, I don't know when it comes out to seven cents a book or something like that but then I this wasn't really I don't know like they're all 90s books in there actually oh wait they're all 90s books in there mostly and there was before I uh, bought it like I looked through it and there was like some 90s Fantastic Four and I think an Electra in there so I thought oh there's some Marvel in there whatever right for 20 bucks it was basically uh yeah 140 bucks or something anyway and, and so I, out of all of that I ended up keeping this whatever that is I mean if these are the best books in that whole box there was some, uh, like, a lot of independent stuff, too, but I don't know. I just kept the X-Force because I think it's a first appearance of, uh, I think it was a Mr. Sensitive or something. So, I mean, those were, like, the best books I found in there. So I ended up doing a trade. Like, I sat on the box for a couple of days, and I then it just hit me that one of the buy and sell stores that I go to, he told me that uh, he does he does do trades, so... Um, so I just phoned him up and I was like, yeah, you uh, told me before, you know, I, I came in a long time ago that you would trade and stuff. And he's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, no problem. And, uh, you know, come on in and we usually do 25 when they, when they buy in bulk or whatever, they only buy 25 cents, 25 cents a book. So I ended up getting 38, uh, 30, what was it, 37 or 38 bucks in credit, store credit. And just my luck too, uh, he just got some new stuff in. So here's what I found out of the new boxes from the buy and sell store. Um, I'll start with these, I guess. I got these uh, Death in the Families for... So once I did, like I paid 20 for the original box. And uh, 36 books, I don't know if that comes to like... I think I figured it like 70 cents or something, 71 cents maybe. Can't even remember what I came to, but I'm pretty sure it was like seventy cents, seventy-one cents or something. But um, picked up sixteen and seventeen of the uh, 
Death in the Family, and then there's 15. I think this... I think this starts that... That arc, I'm not sure. But, I mean, for 70 cents. Definitely, uh, glad to grab those. I have for, uh, every... I have them all except this number 15, so... I mean, if they're there for cheap, I'm grabbing them. Um... I noticed too there's a lot of variants in these new boxes and uh, I'll show you some cool ones in a bit but here's uh, there's a few of these nerd block uh, variants so yeah they're in here somewhere <laughs> but then I mean that's a really cool cover the Damien let's keep looking at that okay, Andy, Andy Kubrick cover Oh yeah, there is some new books, and I forgot I picked in uh, X Uncanny X Men, and there's another one in here somewhere. But that was just from a different comic store. And here's uh, the rest of the 70, 71 cent haul. There was a Justice League in there, and one fifty six. I kind of felt bad about sort of uh, cherry picking this number one. I think they had like a run of twelve or something there. So I mean, I'll read it, and if it's if it's pretty good, I'll pick up a few. Maybe uh, one to f one to five or something like that. Um, they had this in that box, so I was glad to really glad to find another copy of that. I mean, I just I just picked one up uh, a couple months ago for like five bucks. I was glad I got it on sale at that. I was glad to grab it for that, but to find this for 70 cents, I mean, see it. And there's a cool cover. It's a pretty beat up uh, copy of that, but let's pick it up anyway. I seen this there. I never picked it up. Like, it's a pretty nice copy of that, number 10, but I just never bothered. But this time for 70 cents, I'll just take it. Number one of New 52 for Firestorm there. And oh yeah, here's the other new book I picked up this week. And I picked it up from um, a comic shop here that they're really known for uh, having really like crappy condition books, like the new ones that come out because they put them in stands where it's like uh, it's like goes halfway across the book and when people sort of go through them, they like put uh, big creases in them in the spine, big breaks breaks in the middle of the spine so it was like 12 books of the uh, 12 copies of this number six too so I found a really nice copy out of all that and grabbed it here's another book I found in that 71 cent box and they also had this uh, big fan of Kevin Smith there and I found a number one I got a few uh, other issues of that so Glad I can grab a number one of that for so cheap. And here's another one of those nerd block variants. Really nice Jim Lee cover there. It's an awesome cover. And um, yeah, I've, I've picked up a bunch of uh, Superman, Batman's there at this store, at the buy and sell store. And I'm, these were still there. Like I knew they were there. I picked up like one to four or something. And then I picked up the Michael Turner stuff in the later, after like 9, 8, 10 or, or whatever they are. But then I just left 7, 6, and 5 there. So, I just picked them up this time, so they're so cheap. So, I think I got like 1 to, uh, what is it, 12? No, I think 1 to 13 of this uh, Superman Batman now. Um, show these ones with them too. These ones too were all part of the uh, 38 I got. Yeah, and so he gave me the trade, and uh, he also let me give me the the deal too that the, they usually don't give anymore. But the deal is, uh, if you buy, it's ten. Ten bucks for six books, or uh, if you buy twenty-five or more, it's a dollar a piece, or I think fifty or more, it's seventy-five cents. But I only ended up buying twenty, uh, 
well, 38 in credit, so 38 bucks I ended up getting. And so I, uh, I never ever find these. Like, I find the later stuff of them. Even though this says one of six, I think they keep going or something because I think it goes longer than six. There's pretty cool covers on these, too. I haven't even watched the show, but I know my girlfriend keeps, uh, she's like begging me to watch this show, but maybe I will sometime, I don't know. Three of six. And, oh wait, I thought I had all six. There's four anyway. Hmm. But yeah, I grabbed those. So, I mean, for that cheap, I mean, there's, those are, these are all in the new boxes, too, so, I'm definitely happy going through all these, um, what else do I have, uh, there's some more of the room there, nothing special here, some 90s goodness, I don't know, <laughs> trade some 90s for some 90s, I, I always grab, like, a nice brand new, like, a thicker X-Men book, some kind of, if it's a special or whatever, or trades or whatever, I'll grab them if they're cheap. I was glad to uh, find this, number eight, of uh, Batman Incorporated. I guess it's the death of uh, Damon Wayne, I guess. So I think I have like the black cover of that. I don't know if that's a second or a third print or something. And they even had some new books in there. And even the guy asked me when I bought these new books, like, because they have a whole wall of new books, but I guess Diamond screwed them or something, and they just quit ordering, and nobody's buying their brand new books anymore. They probably got, lost a lot of money on that. Um, and this was even in that box. Definitely happy to grab that for 75, 71 cents. And there was a Marvel 100 in there. Marvel Comics Presents. It's a nice copy too. This was in. I mean, I'll grab them if they're really nice condition and so cheap, right? There's another arcade block. Sonic, still bagged and boarded. And there was a zero of that. I should have put that together with the one, but. So I'm gonna rebag that, and I for, I don't know why I didn't think I had this, but I, I guess I got one to three of that. I forgot I even picked it up, and I should have read, should have read it. Uh, cause a lot of people are talking about it or whatever, right? So grabbed all those for really nice prices. And some Star Wars. Oh, 75. And there's a few more too I left. But, I just picked these ones up. They were like the best condition ones too. Uh, 82, 87. That's kind of a cool cover. And then, they get really nice covers right when it gets toward the 100. I had a 98 there. It even had a 100 in there. That's not like a perfect condition or anything, but I think there's like a big dent in the where the title is. There's a one, 101 in there. And 102. So, nice cheap Star Wars books, especially toward that 100 run. I forgot this stack here. So these were... These were also in there. A lot of Batman. I've been thinking about going back because I'm pretty sure... There was some stuff I wanted to pick up, but... There's these two covers. These... Ventricular covers. I had a Bane in there. 
Oh, that looks really shitty on the light. <laughs> Get those out of the way. And they had these. Some more. I should have just showed these with the other decks. But I just picked those out of there, so those are cool. Um, and I got one more stack here. No way. I got these. So here's the pretty nice variants so that were in that box. I don't know. It's a, whoever took these boxes in must have been, like, go to shows or whatever, right? Because, like, expos, uh, conventions or whatever. Because it was a nice Star Wars variant in here, number one. The Fan Expo. That's, like, Canada's big, uh, Comic-Con. And then this was in there. Guardians team up. And then Humans variant, so. I mean... Once I found actually found out what they were, I mean, for sure I'm grabbing the variants no matter what what they are, right? Whatever they're worth, but I was glad to find they were you know worth a little a little bit something, especially for that awesome price, the seventy one cents. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, that's what I found in the past. Uh, what is it? Two weeks since my last video, so definitely stay tuned and see if I can uh, find some major keys off this guy from the convenience store. I'll see what I can do. Okay, thanks everybody. Bye.